What's going on? Jim Alexander here. Today we are talking about pig, not just like a regular pig, uh, a movie called Pig, uh, starring Nicolas Cage. There's a lot to dissect in this film. Uh, it, it caught me by surprise on many occasions. So let's dive into Pig. So Nicolas Cage is starring in the film. When we see a Nicolas Cage film literally probably every week at Redbox or, uh, you know, on demand, there's a new movie and he's done some uh, wild films <laughs> technically in the last few years. I mean, he's, he's it's been interesting because we've seen an evolution of Nicolas Cage over the years. Uh, I think he kind of became the the b or c movie star in a lot of ways he's done a lot of just kind of eccentric uh, wacky crazy interesting stuff uh just but but things that also hit home uh there's there's movies that also have come through some of them not so great but some of them really interesting like a movie called mandy uh that if you've seen it, you know what it's about. Very wild, weird, uh, and weird would be a good kind of definition, right? Uh, for a lot of movies he's done. Uh, but he's got many movies coming out all the time. Uh, but this one is different and not Nicolas Cage different. It's just different in general. So the story of this one is that uh, Nicolas Cage plays a man called Rob we don't know that initially. Uh, he lives in a wilderness. He looks like the dude hasn't seen <laughs> the humanity in, in probably like 50 years. He's just disheveled, uh, looks homeless, may I say? Yeah, uh, he's just uh, unkept, uh, just looks like a man from the wilderness. So he lives in a shack in the middle of the woods in Oregon, nowhere to be found, away from people in isolation, away from society. And he has a pig that he lives with. So hence the name pig, right? So it's a pet pig in, in a lot of ways that lives with him. So, okay, I'm thinking here, what's this movie about? Is this like actually about a pig? Yes and no. So the pig apparently produces some rare truffle <laughs> like uh, allegedly that's that's kind of the the mystery or magic of it uh, that we learn and early on the there's an abduction someone comes in and steals the pig so someone does know he does have sort of a truffle dealer <laughs> that he uh, sells it off to or does business with or whatnot but uh, he's attacked, ambushed, and the pig is gone. So there goes Rob uh, on a witch hunt, literally to uh, find the pig. And um, joining him by the side is the the the, the young guy that he's uh, in business with for the truffles, uh, named Amir, and that's played by Alex Wolf. And it's it's kind of them two together on a journey. It's kind of like Batman and Robin, right? Uh, they uh, go on a search for this pig throughout the film and uh, through a lot of mazes that they jump through and hoops and all sorts of uh, literally underground uh, uh, things and underground, uh, you know, kind of a fight club uh scene uh, there's there's something like that in the film uh, but they go through the gauntlet literally searching for this pig uh into the city of portland so uh, a lot of twists and turns kind of along the way and uh, a lot of sacrifices too uh, on rob's part to find that pig uh and will he find that truffle making pig that's uh not only his 
uh, money maker in a sense, but it's his um, best friend. It's his only living sort of acquaintance. Uh, so the pig means everything to him. Now, uh, what did I think of this movie, right? Uh, initially, my thoughts were that it's probably like a horror movie or something, you know, that's coming. To, it, it just dark. It, it's shot and lit dark. Uh, the entire kind of feel of it. It's got a later on in a sense when they go into porn, it's got a, like a neo-noir feel to it too. But uh, I, I'm thinking to myself that this is sort of like a horror. You know, I've seen enough of Nick Cage lately to, to know that he's into the wild whack and there's going to be probably a lot of bloodshed. There's some, uh, but uh, not to the extent I was thinking about. This was a completely different movie than I imagined it to be. And you don't really know what to expect. Uh, even if you read up on it, I urge you really not to go, go in with it as, in a sense, to be surprised and go in with it uh, ready to go on a ride and experience. And that's kind of the best way to, to take in this movie. But it certainly surprised me. I didn't know which direction it's heading in. Uh, it just, it throws you off for loops. You kind of go scene to scene wondering what's going to happen next and where you're going to go with this character. So it's very, in a sense, well, well, mis well written mysteriously in a sense. So it's, it's, it's mysterious plot that just changes from scene to scene, but it's written so well that uh, you just are kind of engaged and in for the ride and just committed and connected to it. at least I was so credit to the writers Vanessa Block and the director Michael Sarnowski uh, who co-wrote the movie and also directed it and uh, I want to talk about Michael for a bit because if you look at his IMDb he doesn't have a ton of uh, you know he's got experience in editing and all sorts of filmmaking work but as far as director I think he's got like five or seven credits uh, and same thing comes to writing. So he hasn't done that much. It's a brand new name in a sense in the industry uh, for you movie watchers. Uh, and unless you've seen some of his smaller things, which I haven't, but uh, it's phenomenal work. It really is because the way, um, I mean, you know, this guy has an eye for filmmaking and he's done other things besides uh, directing because you can tell that he he definitely edited it and was a cinematographer, which is listed on his credits, because the way he shoots this film, it, it's very stylized um, for a movie that's got a a plot that's uh, in a way how do you describe it uh, mysterious and just unknown, and you just don't know where it's gonna take you. You don't know. You usually have like a essence or a feel of where a movie's going, uh, but this one it just literally guides you into a forest, <laughs> no pun intended. It just takes your hand and like, hey, let's walk in there and see what happens, you know, and you just gotta be down with it in, in that way. So uh, just really good work. Uh, everything from the, from the score of the film that's very matching and seamless with, uh, with the way it was shot. You know, I think the cinematography is really awesome. It kind of has this, the darker feel, but also, like I mentioned, like a noir sense to it too, especially when they go to the city of Portland, which you wouldn't kind of feel it would be that sort of city where, you know, you think of New York or one of those metropolitan, you know, iconic cities, Philly, Boston, Chicago, but um, Portland is seen kind of in a moody uh, and um, once again, mysterious way. Uh, so uh, really good job on that aspect. As far as Cage goes, and mainly there isn't that many actors that appear in this movie. So Cage is primarily him and Alex Wolf's character. Also, we get to see a little bit of Adam Arkin um, later on in the movie and just some, um, you know, in, in a supporting role and just uh, a lot of kind of day players, maybe. I don't know. Uh, just the actors that appear in um, like a scene or whatnot, but it's primarily Cage and Alex Wolf throughout, but um, Alex Wolf does a really good job in the film. I think he plays off of Cage really well. He's kind of his character, Amir, is uh, uh, 
a, a rich kid in a sense that, you know, is trying to make it on his own and break out from his father's shadow. And uh, he's a little bit arrogant and kind of confident, but also scared in a way too, at least intimidated maybe by uh, Nicholas Cage character Rob, or at least listens to him and, and recognizes kind of the mystery and authority of Rob. Uh, so I think they played off well, but Cage, I'll say this, he hasn't done an interesting movie like this and a compelling movie like this in a long time. And he's done a lot of movies, as I mentioned. This is probably, in terms of acting, this is his best work in 25 years. I, I think since probably a movie like The Family Man or whatnot, you know, I, I think it's something that the best thing he's done since the mid nineties. And that's, that says a lot because the guy's done probably over a hundred movies since then, but it's just one of those quiet, powerful performances. His character doesn't say much, but when it, he does say it's sort of profound and kind of matter of fact, <laughs> you know, it's almost like a one word direct response. He's very direct in that way, especially when he talks to uh, Alex Wolf's character, but uh, it's just one of those kind of a quiet, calm performances and, and just wonder about who this guy Rob is and Cage makes it work because of how he portrays him. And it's just phenomenal work by Cage. Uh, he doesn't have to do much to make an impact because you just see the way he carries himself in a film that this guy's got a lot of hurt or, or turmoil inside of him. What does he want? He's so interesting to kind of watch, you know, and try to understand. And you, I found myself trying to figure out what is he going through and Cage depicts and portrays that really well. I just thought it was phenomenal work for him and uh, it really kind of a, a quiet powerful performance uh, that had of a lot of inner um inner work that was done um and that's short, sort of maybe the method acting that cage does or just kind of going for it that that he does like to do and, and just I, I respect the fact that he's done that over the years that just kind of take on any character um so that was really well um as far as the entertainment factor of the film it's it's entertaining in a sense that it's a so, sort of a slower paced movie. Uh, you don't know what's happening throughout. You don't know what's going to happen minute to minute, scene to scene. Uh, but it's entertaining in that way because it keeps you grounded to the story and keeps you at a grasp of what's happening on screen. It, it, it's one of those that you can't take your eyes off away, even though there's an that much exciting stuff happening. There's an, uh, you know, that sort of movie adrenaline that you get watching a movie uh, that keeps you kind of engaged and forces you to be engaged. This one is, it forces you be, to be engaged in a different way. It's because of the mystery of the story, because of not knowing about much about each character. Each character has got something. There's many of them. Obviously, we're talking about Amir, Rob, and Darius played by Adam Arkin, uh, but you don't know what's going on. And, and you start finding out they're all interlinked somehow. There's a purpose and a reason to everything and why they're connected. And, um, and, and Rab knows about it, but we as an audience learn going along why this all matters. You know, why does the pig matter? Why does the truffle technically seem to matter what did they have in common what loss did they share together and what person that they might um kind of all relate to uh together so there's a lot of interlinked stuff that really uh puts together nicely like a puzzle uh, as as you watch the movie so in a lot of movies there's things that happen that don't make sense or there's no purpose everything in this movie that happens has a purpose has a meaning has a connection and i really appreciate that because that's smart writing that's that's slick clever smart uh movie making uh, in a sense of writing and just the way it's portrayed by by the director so i just thought the 
the crew and the cast really came together to do something special. It's it's not a movie that I ever expected seeing. Uh, and I'm happy about that. I'm glad that it took me in a direction that it wasn't predictable. In, in an age where movies are somewhat predictable and you know where what's going on just based on the on the music in the background or sc the score kind of guiding you uh, in this way, it's everything fits together, but uh, you're going into wilderness. And that's kind of my verdict on that. This is a movie that will send you to the unknown. Uh, it will give you satisfactory, uh, I think, reveals and surprises uh, because just everything does make sense. And there's, a, there's this appreciation that I had for how, how hard it must have been to put a movie together that fits in a certain way and this one did and i appreciated that because it's it's not easy to to put the pieces together that line up so well and it all makes sense at the end and it just kind of gives you a perspective this is a it's a movie i don't want to give much away it's tough to kind of <laughs> say things without saying them uh, but this is a movie that'll make you reflect uh and it'll make you think about what's meaningful in life uh what's important and there's a lot of metaphors in it um and if you're paying close attention which i urge you to do so Jeez, I keep on knocking the damn table. Uh, sorry, I'm shaky. There's no earthquake here. I'm in Chicago. But uh, damn, I got to move away. But uh, it's, it's, it's a movie that will make you reflect. And it, it's, it's deep. It's not just pointless. It's got a deep uh, sort of emotional pull to it and meaning. And that's smart and clever and meaningful writing and directing so phenomenal job on everyone around this is a hell of a surprise of a film in a, every good way uh this might be one of the best sleepers because you haven't been hearing much about pig unless you're really into movies and looking out what's <laughs> every movie that's coming out uh but it's out now and and theaters and i urge you to check it out it, it might be one of the best films of the year so far that I've seen in the sense of how it surprised me and and the intricacies of it and, and the depth of it it's if I had to describe this in one word it would be deep um and that's what this movie is so uh tons of metaphors and watch out for this one shot uh of a trail shot it, it's like a dolly shot of the inside of the shack and it's towards the end of the movie. Not going to, it's not a really a spoiler, but um, watch that trail shot. It's probably like almost close to a minute long from the inside and just moves slowly across the, um, the home. And it's just phenomenal stylistic filmmaking. And, and the shot is just cinematography, just, you know, the settings are simple, the locations are simple, but the cinematography makes it look so spectacular and adds to the depth of the film and to the meaning of it so watch for that uh trail shot that kind of moving dolly shot uh it's it's really cool and it's really creative and i think just overall another word to describe this movie would be creative and uh and nicholas cage man you're back you're back uh, on a grand scale and this is the kind of performance that might get him an oscar consideration and i he asked me this like five months ago by seeing some of his films i'd be like hell no that guy's so far out of that realm you know he's just kind of doing movies just to do them for for his own pleasure to just do the weird and wacky but he's back it just shows you why we fell in love with nick cage to begin with uh why he was such a huge star and i mean it, it is still has always been but why he's such a phenomenal actor you know that's one thing we tend to maybe forget and this movie will remind you of that so check out pig um it's it's a good one and it's one that will have you thinking and researching after and trying to find the meaning of the story and uh 
and that's the kind of movie that uh, when it leaves, when you le it leaves with you, when you leave the theater and you think about it and you want to know more, then you know something special and good was made. And this is what it is. So pick uh, outmost recommendation, uh, tentative score. I'm probably giving this like a high 80s, early <laughs> low, uh, into 90s, you know, because it, they did so much well with that. Um, all around so check out my score on the full uh write-up of, of this review and uh definitely pig is a movie to see that's real talk from you uh for you from me <laughs> there we go i can't talk anymore i'm just thinking about pig still so check it out pig nicholas cage out now he's back oh maybe i should mention something follow me on social media at the Jim Alexander. So T H E Jim Alexander, of course, follow at the real talker, T H E real R E E L talker, not talk. People get that confused. And of course, check out realtalker.com. Subscribe on this YouTube page. Uh, we need all the subscribers we can get. Uh, so thanks for those of you who are subscribing like, uh, comment, love to hear your thoughts on Pig if you've seen it. So um, spread the word and uh, make sure to, to stick with Real Talker too. Now I'm out, promise.